Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, unit five, lesson 11, part four. It says that this program filters the list of animals to only take the animals with more than five letters in their name. It tells us to add code to filter the list of students to those with names with six or more letters. And then it gives us an example of how it's going to look in the console log. Let's go ahead and run the program just to see what happens. We can see that three animals in the animals list have more than five letters in their name. So what they did here was they created two variables, one for a new list to store what's going to be output to the console log, and then a way to pull the animals from the list and compare it in this for loop with the if in the middle of it. So we have our for loop, i starts at zero. It's looking to see if the variable i is less than the length of this list. If it is, it's going to run through the loop, and then at the end, it's gonna add one to that variable. Within the for loop, they are assigning the variable animal with the animal at the first index, which would be zero, the first time it goes through. It then looks here to see is the length of the string of text greater than five. If it is, it adds that animal to this list right here, animals filtered. And it runs through each one of the animals in this list, looking at the string length to see if it is greater than five. And it prints those out to the console. Now we're told that we need to do that with student names, but this time instead of five, it says with six or more letters. Let's go ahead and collapse the instructions just so that we can see this part of the code. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're going to add a for loop. So let's go to the control portion of the toolbox. We're going to go ahead and put in this for loop. We can see here that they've already given us the student names. They've also created a list for us to filter our students in and gave us the variable so that we can use that to compare the student name, the length of it with a specific number. So we're just going to copy what we see above. Within this, we're going to go ahead and go to the variables because we need to assign the variable student. So what we're doing is we're looking at this list, we're pulling that first name and assigning it to the variable. Now that we've done that, we need to go back to control because we want to do if within this for loop. What are we checking here? Well, we're checking to see is student.length greater than or equal to the number six. And I put that all together, but we could space that out. So it's gonna to look to see if that is true. If it's true, what do we wanna do? Well, we wanna append our student filtered list. So let's go back to variables because what we wanna do is select append item. What we're appending here is students filtered. How are we appending that? We're doing that with the variable student. One thing that I forgot to do within this is change this because there's more than four items in this list. Now we could count it out and say, is this less than this number? But best practices would be that we set it to students.length so that as long as it's smaller than that list, it'll run through as the variable is updated as long as it's less than. If we don't make this change, what will happen is it will check out before it runs through the entire list. So this is an important part of this for loop. Let's go ahead and run it to see if it works because we already have the console log to print out the filtered students. In the console log, we can see that we have our animals printed, which was already set up before we began. And then we also have our students with six or more letters and their names. And as I compare the list with our criteria, I can see that it ran correctly. Once you're done with this, make sure you hit finish. Mm -hmm. 